So welcome back. Stage, where are we? 12 of the tour. Today we go into the high mountains. The parasol is one of the two climbs on the day. Right before the mountains really get going is the sprint point of the day. Sprint points are where it's an intermediate sprint. Riders can compete, earn points towards the green jersey. And uh, Peter Sagan, who's actually one of the few sprinters who actually is a fairly competent climber, is just sort of nailing this competition down. Already has ne almost 100 points. That might be a slight exaggeration. Ahead of his nearest competitor, who I will be painting in just a second. So, but before they get into the mountains today, there is one sprint point in the. Sorry, I'm going to butcher the French here by now. Duchamp, um, a huge breakaway went out today. Forty riders. I started writing down all the names of the riders that were in the break, which I do every day, and expected to be ten, fifteen. After I got to my second page of the names, I said, you know what, this will sort itself out. I'll just let them give me the numbers once the break is reduced, which will probably happen just after this painting because we're going into the mountains. There's a lot, virtually all of the sprinters were in this break. And uh, oddly enough, a couple of them decided to get into the break, but then aren't trying to get the sprint points here. But it looks like, in fact it is, Sagan who is going to take all the points here, adding to his total. Sagan painting right now, looking over at Sagan just to see who was where. We're not quite to the point yet, and I think right after this, Cobrelli sort of sits up like, yeah, no, nah, save my energy. Got a lot of climbing to do here in a sec. So, I think he just sort of, as uh, Phil Wiggett would say, pulled the pin. So, like, okay, I'm not going to get anything out of this, so I'll just sit up and save my energy. Because, like I say, they got a lot of climbing coming up next, and spinners are notorious for not climbing, being able to climb well. And part of that is just the whole. A spinner is about fast twitch muscles. They, it's power to weight ratio, and uh, you need to generate a whole lot of power to have a successful, um, successful sprint. Sprint. Sorry, trying to title this and talk at the same time. So we're going to call this day after day, because that's really what winning the green jersey is about: is how good you are day after day. Sagan into his high probability of a seventh, which would be a record breaking green jersey in the tour. In fact, I don't see how anybody could really deny him that at this point. So there we go. Line work done. Simpler image today. Starting with the uh, lighter, warm colors, and then I'll work my way through. When I first started doing this, this watercolors back in 2012, I was looking back through the paintings, and I think I'm doing it again this year. I was noticing that the flesh tones over the course of the paintings were getting darker and darker, more orangey red from the paler yellows. It's like, am I just changing my mind on what the colors should be or what's going on there? <laughs> and you may be already figuring it out. These riders are out in the sun eight, four, eight, nine hours a day, or you know, between getting ready to race and racing and cool down and all of that. I think the simple answer is they're 
they're giving a sun tan. So their skin pigment is actually changing. I hadn't really paid attention to it. But I think the um, all the time you're painting, it's about direct observation. You're, you're paying attention. You should be looking at what you're painting. I haven't quite figured out how to show you the image I'm working from as I paint. Because the composition would be odd. Um, but if you go to my Twitter account, which is on Twitter, I'm at Art of Cycling, that's of course all one word, um, then you can see some of my process C in terms of the my setup for creating these pieces. And plus, you know, give a follow, then you'll see where these things are coming from as well. And joining the fun. I'd like to say that I am the only positive person on uh, Twitter. That's clearly not true, clearly an exaggeration, but it's a lot of negativity on that website, but I don't feel, I don't like the idea of contributing to that negativity as much as possible. Every once in a while, there's something going on in the greater world that I just have to comment on. So now we've done the warm colors. Like I said, this is a very simple image. Now, as I was saying, we're talking about the green jersey, and Peter Sagan is in that jersey. And of course, that is literally a green jersey, or a maliavert. So he is bedecked not in his um, team colors, but in the jersey of the sprint leader and of course as the uh, riders approach the sprint the fans are barricaded away and then the sponsors of the sprint which if I remember correctly is Skoda a central European car manufacturer most of the cars in the tour are also Skoda cars. So this is Sonny Cobrelli, like I say, looking over going, yeah, he's got me. I'm going to sit up here a minute. Now, of course, the other reason for the Spenters to be in this break, because right now they have almost five minutes on the chasing peloton, so there's a high probability that they'll get up over the first climb, which will be the Parisol, one of the famous climbs of the tour, ahead of the Peloton just by virtue of getting a head start. You know, if you're going to lose three minutes on the climb to the Peloton, if you have a give yourself a five minute head start, then, you know, you're going to stay away. So that could be part of the plan here. Go for the sprint points and then press on. And I have said that as I do these races, I do paint these things as close to live as possible. So I don't know what's going to happen next. I am painting this as it's unfolding, whether I'm literally live as in well, clearly I'm not, because as I paint, the race is going on. But um, I don't know what happens, even if I do end up painting the race later in the day because of work schedules or other, you know, general life schedules. I um, make sure I don't know, don't look at Twitter, don't look at any internet feeds about the race, because I want to be as true to the live as I possibly can can. All right, so just now to put in the street value. And this, to get a paler thing, again, you're using your paper as your white. So you want to, like in the case of Christoph here, his kid is all white, including white shorts. So to get this very pale road color, 
you can see I'm picking up water and almost just painting with a dirty brush having already laid in the shadow also you can notice I'm moving the brush the direction the road goes so anytime you show you want your strokes to follow the direction of the surface you're painting and it helps just give a little more dimensionality to your image a little more direction a little more so these little pieces of white that are showing through which will read as texture of the road are also um, showing the direction of the road and helping giving that direction across so that's today's piece day after day please give us a like subscribe to the channel and also check out all of the work on theartofcycling.blogspot.com the watercolors from richson art and my website at gregleach.com thank you so much